1995 marked the first InfoAg conference and an explosion of precision ag information across a worldwide agricultural industry. And for the past 12 years, innovators and leaders in this effort have been honored by the Precision Ag Institute. You know, what better way to start a conference than to hold up examples of exceptional work in the field of precision agriculture. You know, individuals and organizations... That's Paul Shrimp, group quote, editor of Precision and Ag Professional and Crop so Life magazine. Each year, InfoAg kicks off by honoring the Institute's Award of Excellence recipients. These industry education and farmer innovators are selected by their peers for this prestigious award. We interviewed the 2018 honorees right after the award ceremony. In fact, I was so fascinated with the technology that I was willing to completely change my career and go back and get a PhD in this area. So that's how greatly it affected me. We've seen the highs and we've seen the lows, uh, we've seen the roadkill, and uh, with any emerging technology there are companies that come into the marketplace and companies that don't survive, and uh, that's part of the dynamic part of it uh, is that uh, who does survive, and that makes it exciting. It's really hard to keep up though with uh, the technology. It's hard to keep up with what uh, various people are doing and what they're doing and why they're doing it, and that's why this uh, InfoAg meeting is so good is to connect with all the people. Yeah, so Purdue started a survey uh, in the mid-1990s, and um, it's fascinating with, uh, with new technologies, uh, everyone wants to know what everyone else is doing and why they're doing it. And there, anytime you have new technologies, there's a lack of information in this area because, of course, people that are doing new and exciting things don't always want to tell their secrets about this. And uh, there's also a lot of difference in technology and how they're being adopted by different farmers in different parts of the world. And of course, we know with precision agriculture, it's a set of related technologies, but you know, how similar is uh, a yield monitor on a combine to GPS to electrical conductivity? And I could go on and on. They're very different in their different uses in different parts of the world. And so the survey, uh, to me, uh, is it allows people to uh, kind of put the story together to understand this because otherwise it can be a really confusing array of stuff that they have to digest. So it seemed like a few years ago that uh, farming was becoming a lot more what I guess I would call uh, following a recipe and that uh, we had genetically engineered crops that resisted insects and, and uh, there was kind of a formula that you followed uh, and that we didn't need to be as, in, you know, think about the agronomy piece of it so much. But uh, boy, were we, I, I say we were quite wrong. Uh, we are going into now a real information intensive age and uh, having the background knowledge when you're working with farmers or working in the industry, to have that basic knowledge of nutrient management, crop growth and development, uh, even just on the agronomy side. And then even on the precision side, to know what basically is GPS and to know a little bit about uh, grid or zone soil sampling. And I could just go on and on forever of that. But having that foundational knowledge is really important to best advance the, uh, the, the, what we're doing with precision agriculture. Uh, retailers we know are in many cases very frustrated. They can't find a person there to do some of the work that they, have, they need to have done. And so, um, you know, education is often something that's overlooked in, in many industries, and uh, we're, we're, you know, fervent about making sure that uh, we cover that end of that. For more information about the Precision Ag Institute, visit precisionag.com institute.